Let me know if you need yes, some more. Thank you. A new painting completed every workshop. The hands aren't as steady as they used to be. <laughs> this intergenerational art session is the pandemic project of 16-year-old Jenna Yu. During quarantine, I definitely started painting a lot more because when you can't really go outside, I mean, what else do you do? So I thought maybe we could bring that to other people and also introduce them to the world of painting. It's why she's launched a nonprofit called Youth Art for Action with some friends. Among the initiatives are these classes. Most weeks, they gather outdoors for some plein air painting. When it rains, they move indoors. Today's piece is this ombre sunset. We have a good inspiration here and have the girls encouraging us. As you go down the canvas, you might want to use a little bit of yellow. Unless you're Ellis, then you come up with your own creation. Oh, it's just an old barn in my imagination. That's nothing new, according to his wife of over 60 years. Has he always been like this, just his own? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Independent. <laughs> the soon-to-be grade 12 student at Collingwood Secondary says the lessons go well beyond the canvas. While we're teaching seniors how to paint, I'm also learning so much. Here's some stories from a time before we were even born. So far, the sessions have been held at Amica West Vancouver Residence, which provides most of the art supplies. Staff say it's something residents can look forward to after a long and isolating year. They were really excited and they were like looking forward to new stuff to learn, not only just painting. <laughs> when Youth Art for Action isn't hosting workshops, members are donating art to the community and selling pieces to raise money for charity. Yu says she plans to expand the dates and locations of the workshops with a goal of creating a province-wide network of teen artists, painting and learning with seniors. Isabel Regam, CBC News, West Vancouver.